Hello everyone. This chapter entitled Applied Linguistics and Language Teaching is uh, will be devoted to the, the discussion of the relationship that exists between applied linguistics as an academic field and language teaching as a professional field. Hello everyone. In this chapter we'll revisit some of the definitions of applied linguistics and we will look at closely at the relationship between applied linguistics as an academic discipline and uh, linguistics right? and we will also in the third section uh, discuss the relationship that exists between applied linguistics and language teaching Now, as we have seen before, applied linguistics is often defined as the study of language and linguistics in relation to practical problems. Now, if we look for language teaching in this definition, we may not find it, uh, we may not find the term language teaching, but we may include it under practical problems. Why? Simply because the language classroom uh, is a uh, context where many problems related to language may arise. Another elaborate definition for applied linguistics uh, by uh, the International Association of Applied Linguistics uh, defines applied linguistics as an interdisciplinary field of research and practice dealing with practical problems of language and communication. Now, these problems can be solved through three stages. So, first of all, they should be identified, analyzed, and then solved. So, these are the three stages. The, the procedure of solving these problems may take two different, uh, two different ways. First, by applying available theories, either from linguistics, uh, as it is mentioned in this very definition, or from other disciplines, because applied linguistics is interdisciplinary. And the second way is by developing, by creating, by introducing new theories and methodological framework. Okay. So for this definition, it does not only describe the nature of applied linguistics, it also describes the stages and the processes that uh, applied linguists uh, adopt in solving a language-related problem. Another well-quoted definition for applied linguistics is that it is the theoretical and empirical investigation of real-world problems in which language is a central issue. So again here, uh, we may not find the term uh, language teaching, but we can include it under real-world problems in which language is a central issue. Right? There are many uh, language-related problems that arise in the context of language teaching, and we'll see some examples of these later. Now, to uh, summarize, if you like, recapitulate this section on the definition of applied linguistics. Now, applied linguistics, as we've seen before, is a field, a domain, a discipline which is interested in solving language related problems and uh, language teaching is one of the contexts or the major contexts where uh, many language related problems may arise. Another issue that is worth discussing uh, in this, uh, in this uh, endeavor to explain the relationship between applied linguistics and language teaching is to clarify the relationship that exists between applied linguistics and linguistics. As, uh, as we all know, linguistics is the uh, scientific study of, of language. It's one of the uh, main if you like, disciplines interested in the study of language, and it's quite old in comparison to applied linguistics. Now, modern, many, uh, many researchers claim that modern linguistics dates back to 
the 1970s with the, uh, with the, the De Saussure. But applied linguistics is relatively uh, is relatively uh, new in comparison to linguistics, since uh, most uh, researchers um, trace it back to the early twentieth century. Okay, the early twentieth century. Now there are three perspectives that explains the relationship between these two uh, academic disciplines. And they are explained here, they are illustrated in this flowchart. So A, perspective A, claims that linguistics is only a small branch under applied linguistics. Perspective B treats linguistics and applied linguistics as two separate autonomous fields. And perspective C treats linguistics or treats applied linguistics as a small branch under linguistics. Now, of course, each one of these perspectives um, has its own arguments to support their claim. So, those who claim that applied linguistics is the bigger field and uh, linguistics is only a small branch under applied linguistics uh, argue that the work of describing language the work of the linguist which is describing language is only a small part and only and it's only one stage that we go through in order to solve any language related problem so describing language which is the work of the linguist is only one if you like task under the, uh, the the bigger task which is solving language related problems and in this case linguistics um, is a small branch under applied linguistics and in this case solving language related problems is the bigger if you like the main objective of applied linguists and to do that, they may need to uh, describe language. The second perspective considers applied linguistics and linguistics to be two separate fields, simply because each one of these two has its own research methods. So applied linguists use different research methods than those used by linguists. The third perspective, also called linguistics applied, treats applied linguistics as a small branch under linguistics. Now this was, historically speaking, this was the, uh, the earliest uh, perspective which explained the relationship between applied linguistics and linguistics and the early applied linguists like Henry Widowson uh, claimed that you have to be a linguist first then you can uh, become an applied linguist why simply because the only thing which was applied the only theoretical framework which was applied was from linguistics so in this case only linguists can become applied uh, linguists and in this case uh, it's only linguistics which was applied that's why it's called linguistics applied now of course we can't really uh, say that one of these uh, perspectives is right and the others are wrong um, all of these three perspectives have strong arguments to uh, to defend, if you like, to, to support their claims. It's a matter of perspective and it's a matter also of historical uh, period. Right? So more, uh, more apply, more modern, uh, a, mod a more modern a a view of applied linguistics would be to uh, treat applied linguistics and linguistics as two, if you like, autonomous, uh, autonomous fields which share a lot in common of course because of inter the interdisciplinarity of uh, linguistics 
but an, an, an older view of applied linguistics would be linguistics applied. Now here we land on the, the main, if you like, issue, which is uh, the relationship between applied linguistics as an academic discipline and language teaching as a professional field. The first idea which clarifies this relationship is that the terms applied linguistics and language teaching are often used to mean the same thing, especially uh, in academic in the titles of academic programs like master programs uh, BA programs PhD programs now for example if you are registered in a TEFL or TESOL or ESL or EFL master program or BA so these are uh, language teaching programs you will study some of the courses some of the uh, issues related to applied linguistics like contrastive analysis like second language acquisition etc and uh, the, the other way around, if you are registered in, uh, in an applied linguistics program, right? if you are registered in a, in a, in a, in a program which, which is entitled Applied Linguistics, now you will, it's inevitable that you will study a number of courses related to language uh, teaching, like classroom management, uh, material design, uh, lesson planning, uh, teaching methodologies, etc. So these two terms are often used synonymously to mean the same thing. In, they are used interchangeably to mean the same thing. The second idea is that historically speaking, improving language teaching was the first concern of, apply, of modern applied linguistics. Remember when we said that applied linguistics appeared in, uh, in, in the US when the English Language Institute was founded. Now, the, 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 uh, the purpose of the English Language Institute was to make language teaching a scientific practice. So, this means that improving language teaching was the earliest uh, objective of applied linguistics. In addition to this, Language teachers are trained according to principles and procedures set by applied linguists. So teacher education, which is the field concerned with training and preparing new teachers, especially language teachers in this case, we're talking about language teachers. Uh, so this field is itself a branch under applied linguistics. And if you, if you, if you join a teacher training program, the people who will be training you are people who have some training in applied linguistics and they will be training you according to principles set by applied linguists. The uh, other idea is that language curriculum development, which is concerned with the design, the uh, implementation, and evaluation of language curricula is itself one of the branches of applied linguistics. So if you want to become specialized in language curriculum development, you need to specialize in uh, applied linguistics. Of course, added to this is the fact that the uh, language syllabi and language curricula implemented in language classrooms are also uh, designed and implemented according to principles set by applied linguists. Uh, another idea is that the assessment procedures that are, that, are, that are used by language teachers to assess learners are also theorized by applied linguists. Right? So this to show you this is to show you how interrelated and interdependent these two fields are. So applied linguists applied linguistics provides a number of, 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 uh, of contributions to language teaching, like, theory, like theories, if like, like theories of teaching, which are language teaching methods, uh, theories of assessment, uh, theories of, of, of language 
uh, teacher education, theories of curriculum development, etc. And on the other hand, language teaching context is the, 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 the field and the context where many, not all, but many applied linguists work. <clears throat> In this flow chart, uh, we, we, we try to represent the relationship between these three domains, linguistics, uh, applied linguistics, and language teaching. Okay. So these are, if you like, the, the three, uh, these are three uh, interrelated and interdependent uh, fields and domains. Now let's see what this flow chart uh, First, it means that the contribution of linguistics to language teaching is indirect because the descriptions of language that linguists provide are not directly applied to the language classroom. They have to go through another field, which is applied linguistics, to uh, decide what exactly in linguistics is relevant to language teaching and how it is relevant. So it's the applied linguists who can determine to us what in linguistics is relevant to language teaching and how it is relevant to language teaching. That's why we say that the contribution of linguistics to language teaching is indirect. It has to go through applied linguistics first. Now, language teaching is, as I said, a professional field, and uh, it's, uh, this is concerning its nature, and it aims, of course, to train and enable individuals to learn a language, be it a second language, a uh, foreign language, or even a mother tongue or first language. Now, one of the questions that are often asked in interviews is that, is language teaching an art or a science? If it's an art, it's something that we're born with, if it's a science, it's a set of skills that we develop through practice and learning. Now, this is often a tricky question, and my answer to this is that it's both an, an art and a science. It is a science because it is a set of skills that we can actually learn and develop, like how to teach learning, how to teach listening, how to teach reading, teaching vocabulary, how to manage classes, how to design material, etc. So these are, if you like, uh, these are uh, skills that we learn. And it is at the same time a practice which can be improved uh, with personal characteristics. So if you are someone who is uh, a good communicator, this makes language teaching easier for you and maybe more enjoyable. If you have a high sense of leadership, again, you'll make a good teacher. If you, uh, if you are a sociable person and you like to be around uh, young people and uh, children, this again may uh, make of you an, uh, a, good, a good teacher, etc. So it's, an art, it's a science which can be strengthened and improved with personal characteristics. And language teaching, of course, uh, goes through a number of stages beyond the, uh, the, the, the actual classroom teaching. There are a number of stages and it involves m more stakeholders, more people and parties. Stakeholders mean uh, partners, stakeholders mean uh, uh, people involved. Okay, So it involves more people than just the teacher. Now this table here shows the, some of the stages of language teaching. Okay. Now, Corder here, Pete Corder calls them stages of, of language teaching, but in modern terms, these are the stages of curriculum development. So, before we start teaching a language, there should be a political decision by the government. The government should decide whether or not we should teach languages and what languages should we teach, and who should teach them. Then, this is the first level, political level. In, this, in the second level, okay, 
this uh, linguistic or sociolinguistic or even you can call it the applied linguistic level it's the applied linguist who tells us what exactly to teach in language we can teach all language and uh, when to teach it and how much to teach of it and finally comes the classroom uh, the pedagogical level where the teacher in the classroom does the actual teaching so as you see uh, there's two there's more to language teaching than uh, what happens in the classroom and of course you can add to this the the preparation the 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 uh, the Met the uh, preparation that the teacher does, the lesson planning, the material adaptation or design that the teacher does before uh, the actual teaching. Now, when we say that in applied linguistics we apply theories uh, from either from linguistics or from other fields to solve language related problems, now we need to be clear about this nature of application. Right? So in language teaching, application refers to a process of uh, making decisions, okay? Ma by making decisions, by answering questions and solving problems. Now, if you observe closely the, pro the uh, process of language teaching in the classroom, it's a constant, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a process of constant decision making. So you have to take a number of decisions, and they have to be sound, and they have to be to be pedagogically uh, sensible. And uh, the decisions that uh, language teachers make in the classroom are often based on and derived from their knowledge about the nature of language nature of language learning and the role also of language in in society so these uh, decisions are not arbitrary and these uh, answers to these questions are not are based on actual knowledge that's why the more knowledge teachers have the uh, the better they would be at the process of, of teaching Now the term problem, when we say that in applied linguistics we try to solve language related problems, now the term problem here uh, does not have to, it doesn't mean uh, always a complication. It can, it can refer to uh, simply a question that needs an answer or a phenomenon that needs to be uh, clarified and explained. So it doesn't have to be uh, a complication. All right. Now, for example, I have a classroom of, of learners of English as a foreign language, and uh, a couple of a couple of students are not motivated to learn. So this is a problem that I need to solve. Or my uh, my class of English is going uh, is going well. Um, my students master tenses in, 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 in five or six sessions. Now, can I, can I do that in only two or three sessions? So, can I improve this situation? And as, as, as we said earlier, the answers to such questions do not necessarily come from linguistics, since applied linguistics is uh, uh, an interdisciplinary field. Okay, so we may look for answers elsewhere. For example, uh, the, the example I gave earlier of unmotivated or demotivated learners, we, we, we can't, we, we, we're not supposed to look for an answer in linguistics. I think the, the best answer would be uh, looked for in, in psychology, in educational psychology, to see why these uh, individuals are not motivated. And finally, uh, the applied linguist is involved in all the stages, right? In all the stages of, of solving a language-related problem and in language teaching. So, an applied linguist is not only called upon when there is a complication, but is involved in all the stages of language, uh, of of uh, solving a language problem, of uh, language teaching, and of the, the developing a, a language curriculum.